uh, hello. Uh, my name is Asiya. I'm going to be the speaker today, so I just want to check my microphone and the video. Is everything okay? So let's wait for the other participants. Does everybody uh, hear me well? P please, uh, please write. <laughs> yes, write something in the chat. So um, there are not many of, many of us today. So uh, let's just get some basic information regarding University Library Online. So I'd like to get some feedback from uh, Angela Henricha. I'm sorry if I pronounced that uh, wrong. I'm really sorry for my pronunciation. Well, uh, if you if you have any questions during uh, um, our webinar, please write them in the chat box. Uh, well, uh, if I uh, if I uh, can answer the, those questions right now, I will. Uh, if uh, if I don't have uh, some information, I will just uh, contact you later and uh, provide you with the information, just to be sure that the information is correct. Um, Okay, okay, let's let's continue. So uh, today we are talking about uh, University Library Online. So uh, I represent uh, this uh, electronic library system and the company which uh, develops and provides the access to uh, the largest database in, uh, in Russia, uh, electronic database. So um, let's just go one by one. Um, well, um, the company's name is Direct Media Publishing House, and uh, that's actually a publishing house, first of all. And, uh, well, uh, the, the first company was based in Berlin, Germany. It was founded in 1995, uh, and in early uh, two, 2000s, uh, it appeared in Russia, in Moscow, and, uh, and now it... Uh, uh, represents the University Library Online. That's the greatest project uh, of the company, and uh, uh, it also uh, prints, uh, like works like a normal publishing house. It prints books and monographs, uh, and um, has many other projects uh, devoted to different aspects of social culture of of of, uh, of uh, Society and culture, art, and uh, and so on. So uh, we uh, print around five hundred thousand items every year. So you can see that uh, that uh, can be different collections. Uh, that can be um, well non-fiction, monographs, literature, um, different items, different genres. So. Electronic library system, uh, which is University Library Online, that's a professional e electronic library, and uh, it is aimed to develop and contribute the modern educational environment. Uh, we work with schools, with universities, with different institutions. We work with uh, uh, state and non-state organizations, some commercial organizations, and uh, in fact, one. Uh, uh, one of the reasons, one of the um, uh, one of the reasons why uh, we work so a lot, uh, that's the uh, resolution uh, which uh, was adopted by the Russian government in 2010 to create and develop electronic libraries and to provide the universities and the students with uh, a wide range of uh, books, monographs, uh, academic literature. And uh, so that was uh, the key reason. That that is the key reason we uh, we exist. And um, 
uh, here is a very small map um, of universities and organizations we work with. Well, you can see that um, we work with uh, universities all over Russia and uh, we have uh, over 500 subscribers among Russian universities. And uh, it means that we are the leaders uh, in this area. So we uh, work with the most, with the majority of Russian universities and institutions educational institutions and we also work with uh, over 400 publishing houses so which are uh, very valuable and uh, that's about 70 70 percent of educational and academic publishers well here you can see some basic um, some key publishers uh, we work with um, and I have to say they are trustworthy and valuable and uh, uh, you can well may maybe you came across with uh, some of these publishing houses so I don't know because some of them uh, publish uh, books in Russian and in English and different languages so I just I will name some of them and uh, that those are Flinta Publishing House, uh, Akademiczny Prospekt, um, like Academic Prospect, um, uh, Europa, Vismir, Rospen, and there are some um, university publishers uh, that's Wyższe Szkoły Ekonomiki, that's the uh, higher school, uh, high school of economics. Um, and uh, that's uh, MGU Imeni Lomonosova, that's uh, the, the publishing house uh, of the Lomonosov Moscow State University. That's um, MGTU Imeni Baumana, that's the Bauman uh, Techno uh, State uh, Technology University. So these are university publishing houses. Uh, well, uh, as a part of the university educational environment, uh, electronic library system allows uh, us to uh, integrate with uh, different systems. So uh, if uh, you work with the uh, learning management system Moodle, so it's easy to integrate with the uh, university library online, uh, we also uh, collaborate and integrate with the uh, some other uh, systems like well some Russian uh, learning uh, management systems um, I, with uh, plagiarism detection systems the Russian one is anti uh, dot ru uh, we um, you can integrate uh, university library online with EBSCO discovery services um, so that's quite uh, comfortable to work with and there are some uh, services for teachers and, acad uh, and academics uh, there is a special part for um, a special section for students to um, uh, to to work with to uh, share their portfolios um, and qualification works Well, uh, as the largest electronic library system, we have um, around 100,000 uh, books in it. But I have to mention that uh, now we are working on two different versions, like the Russian version and international version of the, li of the university library online. Uh, well, the Russian version is larger because um, it contains textbooks for universities and schools as well. And uh, we can say that we have about 120,000 items in it. Uh, the, uh, the international version is smaller. Uh, there are around uh, 70,000 items. Uh, and uh, international version is um, aimed to provide access to uh, literature, to materials on humanities and social sciences. Um, that's the, that's the main difference and it does not contain the international version does not contain uh, textbooks uh, which are for the Russian universities so when we are when we are talking when we are uh, 
discussing and neg negotiating, we normally um, recommend you to use uh, the Russian version if you uh, have some Russian courses, if you uh, if your teachers speak Russian and if your students speak Russian, um, so that they could use a lot of Russian books uh, and manuals. Well, uh, anyway, um, so you can see uh, some basic figures some basic numbers uh, that um, well that we are very proud of uh, the number of books uh, authors journals audiobooks encyclopedia and um, thousands of illustrations uh, and uh, you can also see some the names of some projects uh, just uh, here uh, on your screen and uh, that's uh, well for example that's art portal this is for um, this is a website devoted to um, arts to any um, sorts of arts um, and it contains a lot of information about painters about sculptures uh, thousands of illustrations and uh, well I can just uh, um, spoil a little uh, spoil a little bit and say that now we are working on uh, a great Japanese collection of paintings so they are going to be uh, a great project of art portal uh, you can also see that we have um, educational multimedia that you can use uh, during your education process and also audiobooks uh, uh, and also audiobooks that uh, that has um, this section has um, uh, lectures um, audiobooks uh, like uh, Russian literature um, some uh, research literature so you can just check it uh, the basic academic collection. So this is the largest polythematic collection that we offer. Basic academic collection includes uh, monographs, classic and modern literature, periodicals, fine art illustrations, audio and video materials, digital maps, um, Russian encyclopedias and dictionaries, and of course editions of uh, our publishing house, uh, Direct Media Publishing House. And as I have already said, there are about uh, 70,000 items. So you can just see some more figures on the left in the left column. Uh, it's about 4,500 monographs and uh, 30,000 primary literature and 500 key Russian journals. So I'm going to give some more information about each, um, each section a bit later. So let's just go further. So uh, there are six subject collections. Uh, you can see that uh, they are social sciences, philology and linguistics, law and legal studies, culture, arts and religion, um, economics, uh, classical and modern literature. Uh, just six collections but there are uh, a lot of different books uh, well if you if you are looking for some sociological uh, monographs you can just go to social sciences if uh, you want to uh, find some information on finances um, uh, you go to economics section um, and so on so that's not just uh, these are just the names of the of the collections and uh, as an example, uh, you can see this uh, classical and modern literature uh, collection, which um, contains uh, about uh, 10,000 books in literature from ancient times to modern period. And you can see some um, sections of uh, this collection. So you can find books uh, on ancient literature, uh, Russian classics, biographies, uh, memoirs, drama, ancient Russian literature and folklore, and uh, poetry and modern literature. So quite a big collection. And uh, some of those uh, books are in Russian and uh, some of them are in English or German. So we, we have, we, unfortunately we do not have all our books in English because we are the Russian uh, electronic library system so we um, we provide uh, Russian versions first of all but still we have some uh, originals some original literature and you can find it just searching um, 
in our in our database. And let's look at this one. That's uh, another collection, uh, Culture, Art and Religion. Uh, it's a bit um, smaller than the previous one, but still it's it's quite good. It's, uh, it has about uh, 8,000 books and um, uh, includes um, uh, literature on religion, history, uh, arts, uh, cultural studies. And um, you can see we have uh, religious, uh, religious studies, uh, Christianity, Islam, Judaism, uh, Christian art. Uh, we have um, artists, uh, classical works on cultural studies, uh, Russian culture and anthropology, and contemporary cultural studies. Uh, periodicals, uh, so when we are talking about uh, periodicals, uh, as I have already mentioned, we have uh, about uh, 500 periodicals with the highest science index, and uh, uh, there is a collection of 50 historical um, journals which have a full collection of items, of issues, so uh, from number one to the, to the last one. And if your subscription is over, you still have the access to our archives of periodicals. And, of course, uh, up-to-date uh, Russian journals that you can uh, read online within our library. Audiobooks. Uh, just a brief uh, information about audiobooks. Uh, about uh, well, it's so over 2,700 audiobooks, uh, mainly it's classical literature and non-fiction, but still you can find some study materials on different subjects, like history, uh, literature, and video materials. Uh, video materials are uh, mainly, mainly educational, and uh, they are also some popular signs. Uh, they are all in Russian, and uh, well, uh, some of them are lectures uh, that you can use to prepare for um, for your studies, for your exams, or uh, anything, or even learn Russian. By the way, you, you can easily use them to learn Russian. And that's one more uh, section which we are working on. So uh, I think it will be ready in, in a few weeks. Russian as a foreign language. That's uh, a new section at, uh, in University Library Online, which is devoted to learning and teaching Russian as a foreign language. And uh, it will contain textbooks and study materials and teaching materials as well. Well, if you are working with the Russian electronic library system, it's easy to use uh, Russian materials in learning Russian because you have everything in Russian um, and uh, you can easy, easily find uh, some information uh, about Russian literature, about Russian culture, Russian cinematography, whatever. And uh, now I would like to show you some uh, uh, information, to, to give you some information about how to uh, navigate um, uh, in uh, uh, on on our on our website, uh, that's a short guidance for you. And um, uh, let's uh, just uh, look at this. So that's a, a screenshot from uh, the University Library Online uh, and the basic sections. Uh, so you can see that we have. Um, thematic uh, catalog which contains different sections uh, according to the subjects and you can just uh, go down and down and choose the subject that you are interested or topic you are interested in and uh, just open the books uh, here um, so here you here we have Russian culture and uh, ethnography and uh, I'd like to show you just uh, a very small uh, sign uh, just uh, in the end of this uh, topic and uh, which provides you to download uh, the list of books available books from this section with a short description of each book uh, you can download uh, this list in Excel format and you can use it um, uh, well 
and in, in anyhow so that, that that's up to you so you can just share it you can uh, maybe integrate it with some other systems or just uh, compare so whatever uh, well, normally uh, we have some popular books, popular or new books, uh, which are seen on the main screen uh, of the of the system uh, when you go to some section or subsection. So that's uh, that's it. Uh, well, for example, here uh, uh, the section is uh, co uh, is culture, cultural studies, and uh, you can see that we have some. Um, subsections there, like cultural classical works, uh, history of world culture, Russian culture, and Russian culture has also some subsections, um, and uh, they are devoted to cities and settlements and uh, uh, social fabrics, uh, some uh, Russian regions and uh, uh, population uh, of some regions, the Ural, the Ural population, um, and so on. Uh, you can also use the search options, uh, which is uh, on the top of the. Um, the search options uh, are on. Uh, the search line is on the top of the of the page, uh, and you can use uh, some uh, keywords to look for some uh, books. You can use. Uh, you can. Uh, use that some information about the publisher or author or year. Uh, you can choose the type of the book, uh, so that can be audio materials, that can be uh, encyclopedia, that's up to you. Uh, and you also can use books, periodicals and multimedia options to uh, narrow your uh, search, to narrow your search. Uh, you can uh, search uh, for um, uh, you can search in uh, the description, or you can use only keywords. So that's uh, that's up to that's up to you. And uh, by the way, you also can uh, tick uh, or untick uh, the available books uh, which are on on the right. Uh, that means that uh, there can be some books that are not available right now that can, but they can be available a bit later. And uh, there are books which are not. Um, a part of the basic academic collection, so you can just um, subscribe. Uh, you, you can uh, get uh, the additional subscription to these books, so they are not uh, normally available. So you just just um, uh, if you uncheck this uh, this option, you just you will see them, um, and that's all. Um, and uh, when you're using search options, when you're using advanced uh, advanced search, you can also download the list of the books that are available to you. Um, well, for example, if you are looking for some history books or if you are looking for books which contain the word history, so you will have uh, uh, this option to download uh, an Excel format uh, list of these books, of all of all the results of your search. So that's quite convenient, especially if you are preparing for uh, some work or you are preparing for some um, project and you need just to uh, you need some uh, collection uh, and you need to prepare some, um, let's say, bibliography for your project. I'm sorry. Okay, so when okay when we when we uh, when we found our when we have found uh, the book we wanted, so we can open it. Uh, so I'm going to show you how it looks. Just a few uh, a few slides here. So that's Emerson uh, Letters and Social Aims. Um, well, um, there is little mistake with. Um, uh, with the um, uh, with the with the picture, beca well, because I was using my uh, personal account to uh, make uh, to uh, make screenshots. So in fact, you can't download PDF. You, you can't do it. Um, that's just uh, 
uh, extra option. So you have this book, you give, you have some basic information about the book and uh, you also have uh, uh, the route to this book on just uh, the blue, blue back, uh, background. And uh, uh, you also have some uh, description, like personal description, uh, some information about the author. Uh, and uh, you just uh, click read and you go here. So that's the way you read the books. Uh, you can uh, make it larger, you can make it smaller, it's up to you. So uh, you, uh, you can, uh, you can uh, copy uh, about 10% uh, of each book uh, from the basic academic collection. You, you can't uh, download as a PDF format, but you can copy 10% uh, of the book. Well, uh, this book uh, has uh, 300, 300 pages. So uh, you will be able to copy 30 pages of this book. So you just uh, go to uh, to uh, this option and you can see you can just uh, write the pages you want to copy and when you confirm it you will have the PDF the P P PDF uh, format of this extract and that's all so you can't you can't download the, the whole book that's impossible um, well you also can print uh, but uh, you can print only one page of the book uh, if you want to print um, 10 pages, you have to open each page and print it. So you can't uh, choose um, uh, from 5 to 6 uh, to, to 15 or so on. You, you can't do that. Uh, well, when we're speaking about access options, uh, so there are three ways to, um, to uh, get the success. So Normally, that's a subscription, basic subscription to basic academic collection. Uh, you subscribe for one year, and uh, you have access, unlimited access, uh, uh, simultaneous access of unlimited users to any book uh, in this in this collection. Um, you also can. Uh, request pick and choose option when you just choose a certain certain books in uh, basic academic collection and some other subject collections whatever and you choose them to download so you can uh, have them um, as pdf uh, files um, and you also uh, may, you may also uh, subscribe with evidence-based selection. So actually, that's a subscription um, to uh, basic academic collection. But within this collection, you can choose several books. It's about 50, 100, 200 books that you can download and uh, keep on your uh, computer or share with your students. Um, so or teachers, whatever. And uh, here is um, Biblo Planet. So that's uh, our partner who works um, from abroad. Uh, you can go to www.bibloplanet.com and uh, get some more information um, about um, University Library Online, about some options uh, and uh, uh, content, uh, and and you can also request for um, registration from this website. Uh, and by the way, uh, it is uh, both in Russian and in English, so it's, it's, it's better than just having an English. Well, uh, that was my short presentation for you about uh, our uh, electronic library system. And uh, so if you have any questions, please uh, ask me. So you can type your questions uh, in chat box. You are using, um, you are having a trial access to the University Library.
Braille online now? Well, maybe you have tried to uh, the search options, maybe you have tried to copy books, to download something, to um, so if you have if you had any um, uh, any problems with it, just tell me. Maybe there are some difficulties. Well, okay, so I think there are no questions. And um, we had a very short, very short webinar today. So let's wait a little bit. Well, okay, so um, then thank you for your time, thank you for joining the webinar and uh, uh, just let me uh, inform you that you can download this presentation. Uh, there is a uh, section which is called resources or you, you actually, you can go to the folder uh, on the top uh, right. If you click that uh, icon, the folder, you can, you will have resources and you will have uh, that section which, where you can download this presentation with the information. Or if you can just request uh, for the presentation, I will send you, I will email you. Well, thank you. Goodbye.